Hello, let's talk about the circulatory path. This is something I always forget as well. Uh, it's basically the order of things inside your heart. Where does the blood flow from and where does it go? So usually by convention, we are looking at the heart from the perspective of facing the person. So your right side, your right side is actually right here on your left side. So this will be, oh, here. Let me just change the color. So this is going to be our right side. And our left side is on the other side. The left side is right here. Uh, and let's start with the lungs. So inside the lungs, the blood changes from deoxygenated to oxygenated. So it acquires oxygen. And uh, it moves into this region right here that we call pulmonary pulmonary vein. So this is a pulmonary vein and this will be number one here. I'm going to copy it again. Pulmonary vein is number one. Um, it's uh, and it's kind of important to know for for things like MCAT that uh, vein doesn't mean that it doesn't have oxygen because this is an example of a vein that does have oxygenated or red blood because generally speaking vein is something that carries blood toward the heart. So vein is toward the heart, whereas an artery is away from the heart. And it doesn't matter what kind of blood it is. Um, and also by convention, usually oxygenated blood is represented red because it is more red, whereas the deoxygenated blood, the blood that has CO2 and not, uh, not oxygen, is usually represented as blue. So this is what I'm going to do here as well. And so it carries it to pulmonary vein. From pulmonary vein, it enters the first um, chamber inside the heart right here. This is the first chamber on the left side. And this is called, I'm going to write it right here. This is your left atrium, left atrium. From left atrium, it passes uh, something right here. I'm going to talk about this in the next video, but this is a kind of a doorway and it goes inside this chamber. And this is your left ventricle. Left ventricle. You can see it forms a V. V is for ventricle. Left ventricle. So let's copy this again. Uh, second part is left atrium third part is left ventricle and then it the blood goes through this little channel inside your biggest artery inside your body that's called uh, it's called the aorta aorta so that's number four. It, it is an artery, but it has a name and it's called aorta. So you have your pulmonary vein, V. You have your left atrium, A. You have your left ventricle, V. And then you have your aorta, A. So sometimes I try to remember it with a mnemonic, VAVA. Then it goes inside your body. So this goes to your brain. This goes to your body in general. Uh, even goes to your heart and uh, replenishes oxygen inside your heart as well. Uh, it loses oxygen. So it, it gives away oxygen. And it acquires, I'm going to use blue now, it acquires CO2. Uh, the blood that's rich in CO2 comes back into these two things. So this is CO2 blood, carbon dioxide blood, and it comes back to this here. This is from your upper body, up is for upper body, and this is from your bottom body, uh, from your lower body. This is down. And this is we call this, this is step number five, we call this vena cava. 
uh, vena is obviously a vein. And this one is called, this is superior vena cava. I'm going to write this right here. Superior, uh, right here. Superior vena cava. And this is your inferior vena cava. Goes inside vena cava. Then it goes inside the right should know this already. This is your right atrium. Right atrium. Then from atrium it goes inside the other V, which is your right ventricle. Right ventricle. And from here, it flows into your other artery. And as you can guess, this is called, number eight is pulmonary, pulmonary uh, vein. I'm sorry, not vein, pulmonary artery. I'm going to erase this. Pulmonary artery. So you have your vena cava, which is VC. Then you have your A, V, A, V, C, A, V, A. So this is the basics. These are the basics uh, for the actual order of different chambers and different uh, areas inside your heart. One thing to remember is that um in general when you when the blood leaves the aorta so when it's rich in oxygen uh we refer to this as i'm going to use red again this is called systemic circulation so the blood circulates and gives away oxygen systemic circulation and this is your oxygen rich blood and when it's inside the lungs, when it uh, tries to get rid of CO2 and when it tries to acquire oxygen, we call that pulmonary or lung circulation, pulmonary circulation. So these are also important to know. All right. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to talk more about the different uh, regions in the heart that usually block the passage of blood from atrium to ventricle. Thank you. Bye.